Well, good morning. My name is James Adams, and hey, howdy to you. It's a wonderful day. Uh, today, we're answering a couple of questions about receptacles. Um, electrically speaking, these are some of the most common things. We have dozens and dozens of these in our life, whether it's at work and at home. And some of the questions I had were, uh, when should you replace one of these in your house? How do you know if it's worn out? How do you know if it's not working or if there's a problem? And so, uh, first of all, I want to put this right out there up front. If you have one of these that isn't working and working or it's working incorrectly and you ignore it, it's still a problem. And I know I'm just gonna sit there for a second. I'm still a problem. <laughs> so electrically beyond any other trade, I've never seen uh, so many times where people say, oh, this doesn't work, just don't use it. Um, it doesn't work for a reason. You need to address the problem. So uh, a couple of things I wanna talk real quickly um, real quick indicators. If you take something, you uh, plug it in, and you can't get that plug to stay and it falls out, you should replace it. If you have to plug it in and wiggle it around to make it work, because like with your TV or a vacuum cleaner and it's on, it's off, it's on, it's off, you need to fix it. It needs to be replaced, okay? And I'm going to show you why. So we're gonna do a little anatomy lesson here of the standard receptacle. This is a 15 amp white tamper resistant receptacle, which most of you, if your home was built in the last 10 years, you'll have something like this. So we've deconstructed this receptacle. So this is the face taken off. And really, I just wanna emphasize um, how little metal is actually involved. Um, as far as how easy these can wear out. So here's your terminals where the neutral wire, let's flip this just for my sake, hot wires are attached and you'll see there's solid metal, it's just threaded, it's not real thick. And it goes in and you just have two pieces of metal under tension. It's just a, a spring connection, it's just tension. So if you imagine a receptacle, let's say like your kitchen counter or out in the garage, that you use a lot, you're plugging these two the prongs in thousands of times, and this is gonna get stressed. I can put the screwdriver and just move it around, and just with that, it's looser, okay? So, hot, neutral, ground, here's your screw, same thing. This yoke, or we call them mouse ears, I call them mouse ears, this yoke goes all the way through. Ah, that shouldn't happen, that's right. Um, that yoke goes through uh, both ground prongs on your plugs and this center screw is what your uh, the plate that you hold the screw your plate on with the screw goes right into there so all of this is bonded together for the ground let's put it back together so as you can see on the standard receptacle uh, there's not a lot there so the fact that they wear out it's gonna happen easily and if you have a house that's 30 40 50 years old um, Unless that plug was never used, you should just change them out. They're, they're gonna be worn out. Okay. So the same thing holds true with any electrical type of receptacle, not just like these or the very common 120 volt, but like your dryer plug. And that's not just because it's, it could get worn out because usually it's plugged in forever, but if the wires on the back that attach to these terminals or to the terminals of, let's say, the dryer plug, if they're loose, it'll overheat. So it's the same thing. If you have a plug-in appliance and it works intermittently, one of the most the low-hanging fruit easy solution is check the connection behind that receptacle. It happens all the time. Okay. Appreciate you joining me today. Uh, check out our other videos. We just did one a few weeks back on three-way wiring. It was. Uh, Fantastic video, just because three-way switches are a mystery to most of us. Uh, in the coming week, we're going to cover surge protectors and Tesla chargers. You all have a great day. Thank you.